you for having me here today. Please understand these are difficult times. Mm. It takes a lot of strength to return to these people. The health is currently being monitored by the Navy. The real achieving operates on the Navy. We have an evacuation plan in place to the house of the crowds have already been evacuated. But as there are vehicles ready to transport us at a moment's notice. Now, the importance of staying away. The sudden death of the been linked to be these Once they enter the bloodstream, the health of these victims deteriorates rapidly over the course of the not made of a normal route. And should be treated as quickly as he would treat a nest of fire and I recommend that everyone stay far away from shore and sweep the forces daily to make sure no ships have made the people. The Navy is in the process of establishing clean up teams who can properly dispose of any ships which have been found inland. But in the meantime, we forget. Thank you for having me here today. Please understand these are difficult times. Mm. It takes a lot of time to return to these people. The health is currently being monitored by the Navy. The real achievement operates on the 
Department of Evacuation Time in place to the house of The crowd have already been evacuated. But as there are vehicles ready to transport us at a moment's notice. Now, We cannot overstate the importance of staying away. The sudden death has been linked to be breached. Once they enter the bloodstream, the health of these victims deteriorates rapidly over the course of the not made of a normal wood. And should be treated as people as you would treat a nest of firearms. I recommend that everyone stay far away from shore, and seek forces daily to make sure no ships have made a people. We may be in the process of establishing three of things we can properly dispose of any ships which have been found inland, but in the meantime...
following our view. We can lead it into a trap. Like a moth. To a flame. Oh, 
Whenever I walked along the beach with Selby, I was reminded of those days when I was in the club and well, those were good days. We felt like one big happy family back then, but even though I was one to shoot, me and the men often took a few shots. We had the newest, most expensive firearms paired with my radio technology, well, those houses never budged. They took every lead we gave them. Some of the more seasoned members said they put a hole or two in their walls, but I never saw it happen. We mostly end at the windows since if they were to break. It would be easiest to see from the boat. All I know is that those windows couldn't be glass. Because you see glass windows like the shutters, I knew that very well spending time with no. We could never figure out what those windows were made of. Whenever we tried getting close to the house, it would step back. Picture a house taking one long stride backwards. It sounds silly, but I don't know how else to describe it. It's how I remember it. While the house never received any damage, we did from all the shooting. There were bound to be nasty accidents from time to time. I left because of an accident. It was terrible. I urged the American people to stop shooting the house. I know it's tempting, but no good can come of it. There are plenty of rangers in every state. Use them instead. After all, the house has not received a scratch in over 50 years.
Whenever I walked along the beach with Selby, I was reminded of those days when I was in the club and well. Those were good days. We felt like one big happy family back then, even though I was the one to shoot. And the men often took a few shots. We have the newest, most expensive firearms paired with my radio technology. Well, those houses never bud. They pick up the news we build them. Some of the more seasoned members said they put a hole or two in their walls. But I never saw it happen. We mostly end at the windows since if they were to break. It would be easiest to see from the boat. All I know is that those windows couldn't be glass. Because you see glass windows like the shutters. I knew that very well spending time with no. You could never figure out what those windows were made of. Whenever we tried getting close to the house, it would step back. Picture a house taking one long stride backwards. It sounds silly, but I don't know how else to describe it. It's how I remember it. While the house never received any damage, we did from all the trees. There were bound to be nasty accidents from time to time. I left because of an accident. It was terrible. I urge the American people to stop.
to the beat. We will return your call.
Ladies and gentlemen, friends and fellow members of the House Club, as you all know, we have suffered a great loss. My father, William Rice, along with many other members of our club, were brutally murdered by the house we have been hunting for so long. Their deaths were not in vain. We will not let their memories fade away. Instead, we will avenge their deaths and honor their legacy. I am deeply saddened by the loss of my father, but I will not rest until the neighborhood responsible for his death is brought to justice. As the newly elected president of the House Club, I vow to do everything in my power to track down and kill this wretch. I understand that some may question my decision to take on this task, as no house has been damaged before, but I assure you that I am more than capable of handling it. My father taught me everything I know about hunting, and I will use that knowledge to end this neighborhood's reign of terror. We will not be defeated. We are the House Club, and we will show the world what it means to be truly free. Thank <laughs> you. 
cycles send them all back in three cycles he'll come here himself i feared the worst when i awoke to the sound of screaming the nearby crews had disappeared into thin air much more concerning i saw something leave the house last night
share your experience, Eli. Every testimony is consistent, but from what I've gathered, you knew about them before anyone else. So tell me, how did it all begin? During an evening of fishing, a friend noticed a peculiar cluster of stars, unlike any of the surrounding celestial bodies. They're slowly growing in size, in unison. Known as the town's local astronomer, so she notified me of the phenomena of that evening. And I immediately sailed out to her position. This was an event I couldn't ignore. But when I arrived at the coordinate she had given me, my friend was absent. Her boat was nowhere in sight. Did this concern you at all? She went back to the town to get some rest. After all, it was almost midnight. After I positioned my telescope, I proceeded to examine the star cluster. At first glance, it did appear they were growing together. But they were also passing by other stars. At this observation, I realized that they weren't growing at all. The stars were slowly falling towards me. I watched for several hours more until they entered the stratosphere, at which they dramatically increased in speed, hurling towards the sea. Almost like comets. How fast would you say they were going? I remember that in the span of a single blink, the stars had traveled from the top of clouds to just above the surface of the water, and it was just above the sea that they paused, hovering quietly over the waves. I could see that they weren't stars at all, where organic tendrils dangled from them. I was reminded of a starfish. The largest of the stars then addressed me, Eli. The Crescent King arrives in three cycles. You are his container. A container? What did you take from that? I did believe that three cycles corresponded to three days. Just as I made that connection, the starfish jettisoned back into the sky, causing tremendous waves, knocking me off my boat. The telescope had snagged onto my sleeve, and as it fell, it pulled me to the sea floor, where I saw hundreds of sunken vessels, some of which appeared to be ancient in origin. But most appalling was the boat I found myself slowly landing upon, for it was my missing friend's vessel, and her submerged body lay nearby. I broke loose from the telescope and swam back to shore, where I fell unconscious from the exhaustion. Do you know of a William Rice or a Bird Essex? I do not. Well, they also went missing recently. Do continue. When I awoke, it appeared that an entire day had passed, and two cycles were left before the arrival of the Crescent King. I was afraid. These were beings that were unimaginably faster, larger, and more powerful than myself. Just after this realization, I was violently thrown across the shore and landed behind a large stone. I looked about and realized that I was no longer in my own body. I looked off to where I once stood and found my physical being standing motionless. It appeared that my consciousness was extracted. Invisibly, I hid behind the stone as I watched the translucent shape of a massive creature lightly nudging my figure with its massive hand. It was the Crescent King, but there was still some connection. Some quantum element was left undisturbed during the hijacking of my neural networks. I could hear the Crescent King's thoughts as it explored my brain, testing my mental capabilities, akin to an individual trying clothes. This ritual abruptly ended, and I was soon sent back into my own body. The momentum at which I was returned knocked me unconscious once more. Did these periods of unconsciousness contain any further messages? Not that I recall. When I awoke, another day had passed, and I had one cycle left before becoming a despicable container. So I planned to spoil my body, make myself unworthy of any habitation. I ate sand, drank salt water, and tore at my skin, all to discourage any hideous progression of events. This only furthered my fatigue, and eventually led to me falling unconscious one last time. 
The last thing I recalled was a massive entity falling from the sky and crashing into the sea. The Crescent King had arrived. I don't remember much else. Well, a vacationing family found you, and you were sent to the hospital. You're not the only one with these stories, so I've been sent to get these testimonies. But you're luckier than most. I'd say half of the others are catatonic. A few cases got into the headlines and threw the entire East Coast into a panic. That's good. Good, huh? That's a funny way of putting it. You really believe this stuff, don't you? You think you're a container for this Crescent King? <laughs> 